So, I discovered um, Diana Anduki Nukunukunukunavaka. Never. What's up, everybody? This is Johan Bester from Charisma Performing Arts. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time and if you're a regular visitor, a subscriber, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So I recently discovered um, Diana Ankudinova, um, and I've done a, an analysis of her version of Can't Help Falling in Love. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. I'll put the link in the description. Um, somebody suggested it to me as, as just a singer that makes a really different kind of sound. Um, and then I discovered, yes, I'm 52 years old. I've been doing voice all my life, and I only just now discovered overtone singing. My bad. Um, but something called polyphonic overtone singing. And then I discovered this woman, Anna Maria Heffeler, uh, I think is the pronunciation, <clears throat> who demonstrates how to do that, or actually not how to do it. She just demonstrates different ways of doing it. So... Polyphony or polyphonic music um, is associated with the Baroque era in Western music history, um, where there would be multiple melodies played or sung at the same time by different musicians, and you would hear all these layers happening at the same time, each one an individual melody that's beautiful, equal beautifully crafted to to be a melody on its own to stand on its own um, but then in the layering of it you would also get the harmony obviously that is formed from the multiple layers um, beautiful baroque music vivaldi johann sebastian bach you know even Handel, uh, schutz so many um, amazing Baroque composers who did that. So that's where polyphonic <clears throat> singing, I guess, comes from. The term polyphonic meaning more than one pitch at the same time. So I wanted to share this with you because I'm just, I'm on a journey of discovering something new. And maybe this is new to you too. So let's see this uh, Anna Maria demonstrate this incredible technique. Hello, I am Anna Maria and I'm an overtone singer and I'm going to tell you something about polyphonic singing today. Overtone singing is a voice technique where one person sings two notes at the same time. So she, so she sings a C sharp, and then somehow makes us hear the fundamental tone plus individual overtones, one at a time. That's incredible. So if you didn't know this, overtones are the higher pitches that makes you hear the fundamental tone. So this C-sharp here, C-sharp one, two, three, four, um, actually consists of a scientifically specific, perfect, always the same sequence of higher pitches, some of which are so high that they're off the piano. Like you can't even hear them as individual pitches with your human ear. But it is those higher pitches, that specific range of higher pitches, that makes us hear that note. So, 
I don't know. I don't know how she does that. I'm going to find out because it's it's really fascinating. Um, it sounds like whistle tones almost, the higher ones. Obviously, the sound is not 100% the same of the fundamental tone and one of the overtones that she sings at the same time. The sound is not quite the same. It can't be because we only have two vocal folds that produces the basic frequency, right? But anyway, let's keep going. So this was the overtone scale on one fundamental. I can also choose an overtone and move the fundamental. So I can wow. choose a fundamental and have the overtone scale or I choose an overtone and have the undertone scale. If I want to sing a special melody and there are melody notes that don't fit to the overtone scale from one fundamental, then I need to find another fundamental to sing this note. And for that there are often different possibilities and I choose this fundamental that fits harmonically best with the melody line. And for polyphonic singing there are different possibilities to build scales and to move notes. So I can move the hmm. overtone with the fundamental in parallel. <laughs> in the opposite directions. And that scale also works in major. for example, folk songs in polyphonic solo voice. Oh my gosh! Like, honestly, I now feel like those reactors who don't have anything to say, but oh my gosh, that's so amazing. But I, I definitely don't have the knowledge 
to describe what happened there exactly. Um, I just think it's incredible. And there was one demonstration in the middle where she went on for like, I don't know, 40 seconds in one breath anyway. So that, that to me says that she's working so very effectively with her, with her air, with her breath, um, that it's not, it's not, it's not loud. So w when we make a loud sound with our voice, there's a lot of air flowing. So she uses very, very little breath at any given moment, which is why she can do such long bits in one breath. But I just think it's incredibly fascinating. And I just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> so maybe you are also a voice person and you also want to delve into this a bit more. I'm definitely going to check it out a bit more. But yeah, I just wanted to, to share that with you because it linked with um, the Diana um, video that I, that I analyzed, like I said, because she does um, something similar. I, I, I can't say that I heard her sing two different pitches at the same time like in this but there's definitely something there that has to do with manipulation of this area here which is insane because we can't touch it right it's inside i think just i just have so much respect for somebody who can spend definitely hundreds and hundreds of hours to delve into and to develop the skill to do these kinds of things insane but incredible anyway Thank you for spending the time. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, please take care of yourself. Before you go, let me just quickly remind you of two exciting things that is part of our company. The one is a podcast on Spotify, free for everybody, called Voice Matters with Johan Bester. And the second is that we now have a Discord server, Charisma Forming Arts Discord server. I would love it if you would consider joining our community there. The links are in the description.